hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from programming knowledge and this is a brand new video tutorial series with java programming so technically this is from zero to hero where we will discuss basic concepts on how to program in java programming language so these are the contents of our course first off we will have the Java introduction, Java file compilation. We will discuss what is Java Development Kit and how to download that and set up that inside our computer. What is an IDE and how to download the IDE. How to set up your project, classes, main method, print line, scape sequence, we will also discuss comments, control structures and loops, arrays, collections, and more. So there are also bonus content for this particular video tutorial series. The first one is I'll be giving you and guiding you how to set up your online Java compiler. So you won't have, or if you are just starting from uh, Java, then you, you won't have to set up your GDK and you can just compile your source code online and then there will be java lab exercises so that you can practice it yourself and we will also discuss the do's and don'ts in java programming best practices and we will be using different ides and also we're going to be using and discussing graphical user interface using java and I'll be um, showcasing some of my Java user, uh, graphical user interface projects to you. Maybe the first question that comes into your mind is why study or learn Java programming language? So here I'll just discuss some of the reasons why an individual should learn or study Java programming language. Number one. Java is one of the most popular languages and it means more opportunity, more employment, and you can find a lot of support from forums, discussions, because um, a lot of people are using Java. Number two, Java is extremely flexible. You can use Java for businesses, web applications, Android applications, and even in games. Number three, it is a must for students and working professionals who are aspiring to be a great software engineer. And I also list here all the advantages or some of the advantages for using Java programming language. So Java is object-oriented, platform-independent, sim simple, secure, architecture-neutral, portable, and robust. Okay, So these are just some of the, the advantages of using um, Java programming language. You can implement by using object-oriented paradigm, um, platform-independent. Uh, platform you can use it whatever platform that you, that you want to use. For as long as uh, you install the dependencies and other um, requirements. Uh, it is secure and architecture neutral. Okay, so let's go on with the compilation of our Java source code. So Java is considered a high-level language and it is designed for humans to understand. So, for example, we have different commands or different keywords in Java, such as print, public, class, and more. So, that will comprise our source code, and we need to add a file extension to that by using the that .java uh, file extension. And, of course, we need to compile that or convert that source code into machine code so that the computers could understand because computers could only understand low-level languages or series of ones and zeros and that's um, referred to as the object code. 
So again, we need to compile our source code and convert that into the machine code so that the computers could understand the um, program or the process that we want the computers to undertake. Now, for the compilation process, we have the Java Development Kit for us to you know, have an easy um, way of compiling our source code. So the Java Development Kit comes with the, the Java Virtual Machine. And the Java Virtual Machine translate bytecode to machine code. And because of this process, we can now have a cross-platform version of our Java application. Meaning we could deploy our Java application into um, Windows operating system, Mac OS, or Linux operating system. And we will be using the that class file extension for that. So take note of the process of compiling our source code. So first off, we write the source code with the use of English-like syntax. For example, using public, class, or print, or any other related syntax um, in Java programming. And then convert that into bytecode. And then, of course, our Java virtual machine will try to translate that bytecode into machine code so that the computers could understand the process or the program that we have written. Okay, so now let's move on to the Java development kit. So when we say JDK, it means the Java development kit. And when we say JDK, it means that Java development kit, and it will help us with the process of compiling our source code. Now, under Java Development Kit, it includes the Java Runtime Environment, which also includes libraries and toolkits. And inside this, we also have the Java Virtual Machine that enables us to run programs. And again, because of this mechanism, we can run our a Java application in multiple platforms. So let's move on to the setting up of the Java development kit inside our Windows operating system machine. So the first thing that we're going to need is the Java development kit and we just have to download that from the Oracle website. So open up your browser and search for Java JDK right here and You'll be presented with two links right here. For the first two links, you can just click on this and search for the, the correct platform or the operating system that you are using. So for example, if you're using Windows 64, then uh, download the um, .exe file right here. So click on that. And by the way, the, the size is 150 MB. And the current version that I have is um, 16.0.2 so click on that and then you just have to um, click on the checkbox that you have reviewed and accept the oracle technology network license agreement and then download the java jdk you just have to wait for a few seconds for your download to complete we'll just have to click on this and it should open the Java JDK installer for us. Click next. And then you don't have to change the path of uh, the installation right now. So click next. And there you go. Um, we have successfully installed the Java development kit. So the next step is to add the installation directory of our Java into the environment uh, variables of our Windows operating system. So in order for you to do that, you have to copy the installation directory and then add a or add an environment variable. So you have to locate the installation. So here we are at the installation directory of our java version 16.0.2 and then open up the bin folder or bin directory 
and then just copy this particular path right here and go to your um computer and then properties and then advanced system settings environment uh, environment variables and in here you can add the system variables right here so for example we al we already have added the java home right here for our um uh java version 16.0.1 so i'll just edit this to point to the latest version of our java and then click on ok and then ok and ok so next will be uh, we will be testing the installation of our java so you'll know if the installation is correct and you have set the environment variables into your uh, operating system if the following command works right here so java and then c and then if you can see these options right here and that means that you have successfully installed the java development kit and we're now ready to uh, write our code and run some programs so in the next video guys we're going to start with um setting up our ide and also try to write some code and compile and then run our first program so thank you for watching and see you in the next video